So let's start with why. Why should we use layers in the first place? Well, the first thing we want to consider is layers allow us to be more organized. So the first thing that you draw is a sketch in the program. Okay. Once the sketch is done, let's say you then decide, you know what, this is a pretty good idea. I think I want to clean up the line work. What you'd want to do is you'd want to create a new layer. And on that new layer, you could draw your final line work. And then you can turn off the visibility of the sketch layer. And then you just have your final lines and it looks really nice. Now let's say you're not done. Let's say you want to add color. It would be better to add the color to a separate layer and that gives you a lot more control and flexibility. So being able to control our drawings and paintings actually increases our ability to produce higher quality work. So if we can organize our scene and we can control our scene, we have the ability to work faster. So everybody really wants to be able to work faster because everyone's short on time and we want to be able to do other things or we want to be able to move on to the next task. So obviously being able to work faster is a huge advantage for us when we're working in Sketchbook. All right, so now that we know why we want to use layers, let's go ahead and dive in and look at the layer editor and how it works. I'm just going to delete this little drawing right here and I'm going to go down here and bring up my full UI. So at this point, I'd like you to follow along with me step by step. Let's go up to the menu. I'm going to click on File and then go down to New. So the first question is, how do we open up the Layer Editor? I'm going to go up to Window and then go down to Layer Editor. And here we have our Layer Editor popping up on the screen right here. It might pop up over here, over here, depending on where you placed it last. I'm going to close this. The second place that we can open up our layer editor is down here on the lagoon. I'm going to press down on the tools button, drag down, and then release on the layers option. It brings our layer editor back up. The third option we have is if we have our toolbar up, we can access the layer editor right here on the toolbar. All right, so let's now talk about the layer editor. What are we looking at here? So by default, we have a background and we have layer one. I'm just going to um, go down to the lagoon. I'll press down on the paintbrush. I'm going to select the pencil and I'm just going to write the word layer one right here. Right now I have layer one selected. You can see the word layer one showing up. So as we write on the layer, we get a little preview over here. Now I can turn off the visibility of this layer by pressing this button right here. Okay, this is our show hide layer button. So it just looks like an eye. So I can click on that, the layer disappears. You can see that when the layer is hidden, it darkens a little bit in the layer editor. I can press on this button again to bring the layer back. Now, what if you want a new layer? If you want a new layer, you can press on this button right here to create a new layer. Now you can see we're on layer two. So let's just write layer two right here. The other option we have is we can press down inside a layer and drag up and select add layer right here. So this is layer three. So I'm just going to write layer three right here. So let's say that we only want two layers. How do we get rid of layer three? Well, I can press down, go to my marking menu and select the delete layer option. And layer three is now gone. Now we just have layer one and layer two. So I can hide layer two, I can hide layer one, I can bring them back. The other thing that's really important is the order. Okay, so layer two is on top of layer one. So for example, if I were to take my paintbrush right here, I'm just going to choose this gray color. If I go over here and paint, you can see the letters are disappearing, right? But if I go to layer one and I paint, you can see that the paint is going beneath the black lines right here, okay? So the order is important, right? So I'm gonna just press Command Z to undo. So let's say I want to add 
this little gray below layer one. Well, I can't do that until I put in a new layer. That new layer is actually above layer one, so that's not gonna help me. So I need to take this new layer and move it below layer one. So I can do that by going over here, I can click and drag and move that down. Right, so now layer four is beneath layer one and I can paint, I can still see the word layer one right here. So let's say I want to rename a layer. What I can do is press down on the layer, go to my marking menu and I can go to the rename option right here. And right here, I'm just gonna call this gray paint, okay? So there I have a new label for this layer. Okay. Now the other interesting thing is that you have this background layer right here where you can also change the color um, of your entire canvas. So if I click over here, I can change the color to like a red, right? I can change this back to white. I can also turn off the visibility right here. So right here you can see I have this checkered pattern and that means right now we don't even have a background, right? So I don't really like to work this way, so I'm gonna turn the visibility back on, okay? So that's the basics of creating layers, renaming them, and moving layers. Let's now open up a new document and learn how to complete the warm-up for this class. I'm gonna go up to File and then down to Open, and I actually don't need to save this. I'll hit Don't Save, and I wanna to go to Documents, and then warmups, and I'm gonna open up warmup HD. I'm just gonna move my layer editor over here a little bit. So in the blank warmup document, we have two layers. We have days and exercises. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to hide the days layer and show the exercise layer. Now, I want to click on the exercise layer to select that layer and then I wanna add a new layer. On this new layer, I'm going to rename it. So I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna call this short. Now the reason I'm calling this short is I wanna work on this section over here and it says parallel lines short. So I just put a one word label on this layer so we know what it is. I'm gonna go over here to my pencil tool and I'm gonna select black. And now I'm gonna hold down the space bar zoom in and pan over and I want to, I want basically this box to fill my screen, okay? So parallel lines. This exercise is designed to help us control our lines and help us practice drawing straighter lines, okay? So with the short parallel lines, I want you to use your wrist only. Don't move your entire arm. So what you do is you just move your wrist and you just draw in lines that are parallel. If you draw a line like this or like that, that would be incorrect. You wanna try and keep the lines equal distance from each other. Now, at first this is gonna be very difficult because you probably never used a Wacom tablet before, but you have to practice this every day so that you can increase the control of your lines and increase the quality, all right? So you can draw um, at whatever angle you desire, right? It can be whatever angle you like, okay? But you want to practice moving your wrist and trying to keep the distance equal and keep the lines straight, okay? So if you draw slowly, you're gonna get a less straight line. If you draw quickly, you'll get a better line, okay? So I'm moving my hand, moving my wrist relatively fast here. If I slow down, you can see I don't get a very good line, okay? So you just wanna fill this section with lines. Fast movement, just your wrist, your parallel lines that are short, okay? So I wanna to go to the next exercise, but I don't want to draw on the same layer. I want to draw on a new layer. So I'm gonna add a new layer, and then I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna call this long, 
And this time, let's zoom in so, so that this box is filling the entire screen. This time, I want you to move your entire arm when you draw your parallel lines, okay? So you're going to move your elbow and your shoulder so that you get a nice, nice movement of your entire arm. Before we were sort of flicking our wrist, now our wrist is sort of staying stationary. So wrist is in place, not rotating. Elbow and shoulder are rotating. So I'm gonna draw longer lines here. And again, if I slow down, I'm gonna get a line that's not as good. So the idea is to move quickly. And if you move quickly, you get a straighter line. All right, so I filled up this box right here and I want a little more practice. Because I drew on a separate layer, I can just press delete and it won't affect the other lines here because that's on the short layer. So I'll click back here on the long layer and I'm gonna practice this again. Again, I wanna emphasize the word practice. You're not being graded on the quality of your lines. You're just being graded on whether or not you did the exercise, okay? All right, let's go over here to meet in the center. I'm just going to navigate so I can see this box. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna rename this layer. So this layer is gonna be called meet. And in this exercise, I want you to move your entire arm. I don't want you to just move your wrist. If I only move my wrist, I can only draw a line about this far. And I wanna be able to draw a line going all the way across this box, okay? So I'm gonna draw a vertical line and then I'll draw a horizontal line. And then I'm trying to get the other two lines to pass right through the center right here. So I'll draw a diagonal. And then a diagonal here. Okay. So there I've sort of achieved the goal, but I'd like a little more practice. So I'm going to press delete and I'll create another one. I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. Looks good. All right, that's about all the time we have for this exercise. Um, we're gonna continue to talk about the warm up, and we're gonna continue to talk about how to work with layers in the next video. Right now, we're gonna save our work. So I'm gonna go up to File, and then go down to Save As. And you're gonna wanna type in the period that you're in. Make sure it's the correct period. Type in your last name, comma space, first name, and this is the warm up for week two, zero two. Okay. Let's go ahead and press the blue save button. And then in the next video, we'll complete this warm up tutorial and we will also cover a little bit more information about layers.